my channel. So here is video two of the seven video series I will be doing this week in celebration of a thousand subscribers. So this video is gonna be about gifts to give to crocheters. So even if you're a crocheter yourself, you can gift yourself these items for Christmas. So let's get right into it. Oh, and also I'm like inside, but like the camera's outside because I thought, I don't know, it was really sunny before, but then I wasted a lot of time uploading my video yesterday and the sun kind of got down. So you might hear a little like wind noises or like random noises. And I crocheted the sweater, so. So the first gift is yarn, which is, you never have enough yarn. So if you know that your friend really wants a certain color, get it for them, they will really appreciate it. The next one is crochet hooks. So you can never have enough crochet hooks. And my personal favorite is soft, soft clover, no, wait, what is it? Clover soft touch. I actually have them right here. So I have like three sizes. I have six millimeter, 3.5, and I also have 4.5. I really, really want 3.75. So if my friends are watching this, just going along with that, you can give them fancy crochet hooks. There are some really expensive crochet hooks out there. Um, a brand I found when I was like researching crochet hooks is Furl. They have like really nice ergonomic wooden ones that are pretty pricey. Next is something I really want is light up crochet hooks. I saw this on someone's Instagram and I think it's like amazing because I like to crochet at night, which is kind of obvious through my crochet with me because I'm like doing other things during the day and then like crocheting is how I wind down at night. If you're in the complete dark, you can use a light up crochet hook and it's like LED lights and it'll like light up the part you're crocheting. I, I don't know. I have not never used one, but I think it's really cool. Also, an essential is a darning needle. You need it for like every single project to weave in the ends or if you're making amigurumi, you really need darning needles. So I suggest the ones with like the curve if you know they do a lot of dolls because I sometimes lose mine, like I eventually find it, but it's really nice to have a lot on hand. The next item is a yarn ball winder. So I recently discovered this was a thing. Like I guess I kind of knew it was a thing, but I thought it was just like for really advanced people. But a lot of you guys commented on one of my videos where I was like manually winding the yarn. I was like, oh, this is taking so long. You guys told me to find on Amazon. So you can actually find cheap ones on Amazon and I'm hoping to get one soon. The next item is a yarn bowl. They are pretty expensive, especially like the wooden ones or the handcrafted ones, but I think it would be a really nice touch and it's like not a necessary thing. Like I usually just like put mine in a basket and then just like unwind the yarn as it goes, but I think a yarn bowl would be pretty cool. I've never used one either. <laughs> the next one is a yarn drum. So this sounds weird, but it's basically like, I'll put a picture of it. I saw it online. It's like a big yarn carrier that carries like all your supplies for you and going along that you can also just get a regular tote bag because every crochet needs a tote bag to hold the crochet stuff as they go along but a yarn drum is very advanced yeah i don't i don't know where you can find one i'll put links i'll try to find links and put them all down below in the description next if you're really in a hurry you're like oh shoot i've got to get them a present Easy thing is crochet patterns. I actually, yesterday I posted a bucket hat tutorial along with a written pattern that's available on my website, self promo. Uh, but yeah, patterns are always great because personally I'm pretty cheap and I like try to like make everything myself and I don't really follow patterns, but patterns are a luxury because you save so much time. Next is a crochet holder. So I don't have one. I kind of just use the one that my crochet hooks came in when it came as a set, but it's always useful to have a crochet holder or crochet hook holder because it just keeps everything way more organized. Especially if you know your crochet friend is kind of like tangled yarn a lot. <laughs> the next one is a good pair of scissors. It's horrible to cut yarn with a pair of doll scissors because it's just, you just gotta keep cutting until, until it cuts and it, it, it'll save a lot of time if your scissors are just sharp. There are a lot of different scissor brands, but the one I like personally is Fisker. They just have very sharp scissors. The next one is I also found out during research, but a yarn cutter pendant. So basically I guess you like thread it onto your necklace and then it's just attached there and then you just like cut the yarn. But it seems kind of dangerous, but like it still sounds pretty cool because it's like kind of pretty and it's just like a necklace pendant and then you just have it whenever. 
Like you don't need to try to find your scissors, you just have it on you. The next one is a crochet themed mug. You can also get t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, hats, literally anything that's crochet themed. I don't have anything crochet themed and I think it's just like a fun, a fun thing. It's not like necessary, but why not as a gift? <laughs> the next item is called the knit kit. I saw this online. It looks amazing. Like I didn't look into like how, where you can buy it, but basically it has like a measuring tape and what else does it have? Like a stitch counter. I think it has scissors. Like it literally has like everything you need that is like in one it's like a swiss army knife but like for knitters and crocheters it's really cool <laughs> sorry a plane is passing okay i think it has passed amazing so the crochet emergency kit they put balls of yarn in like a shadow box and then it says like a fire extinguisher thing like break in case of emergency and I think that's just like such a cute decoration like and you can honestly use the yarn if you run out of yarn but for my case I have a lot more yarn so but I just think that's like a really cool decor thing I might even make it myself I don't know <laughs> the next one is a pom-pom maker so if you know they make a lot of hats or I don't know what else you would need it for yeah hats <laughs> toques um beanies then it would be nice to give them a pom-pom maker just like to like put it on top and the last thing which i think i had no idea this was a thing but i saw it on a website and this is actually crazy it's a crochet cruise there's a whole cruise ship dedicated to crocheters and like obviously it's not a good idea to go now because of covid but this is like astonishing i did not think this would be a thing but so many, so many people crochet, I guess, and enough to make a whole cruise around it. So that would be really cool. I like, no offense, I think it would be a bunch of old ladies, but I mean, I wouldn't mind. That would still be cool. So that's all the ideas I have for you today. I did some quick researching and then slash things I would want myself. So friends and family, if you are watching this, um, you know, take some advice. I, what I had, what I didn't, what I thought was cool, so just some gift ideas for me too. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video, it's a bit shorter, but I have no idea what I'm gonna film tomorrow, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you in any way, shape, or form, and see you in my next video tomorrow for day three.